Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is a brand new 2023 GMC Hummer EV. Today, I'm gonna review it for you guys. Now, look, I know everybody and their grandma has already reviewed this new Hummer EV. Heck, even my grandma got to it before me. In conclusion, I have found myself to be wildly impressed with the subset of available features on the Hummer EV. But finally, I have the opportunity to give you guys a walk around, tell you about the features on this, and I am super excited. This is probably my most anticipated review of the year. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Jones GMC for allowing me to borrow this vehicle to review. For all your GMC needs in the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area, I'll leave a link to Jones's website in the description below. Starting out up front on the Hummer EV, this is the Edition 1, so it comes with all the bells and whistles, and then they throw even more bells and whistles on top of that. So there's a lot to get to in this review, but the first thing I wanted to discuss is the LED daytime running light right here. This is probably flickering on the camera. In reality, it's not actually doing that. That's a refresh rate issue with the camera's shutter speed. It's just a continuous light bar right here. And it's only an LED daytime running light. This is not the actual housing for the headlights like most other vehicles would have. Uh, actually, the headlights are housed lower where the fog lights would be. Those are the actual main uh, low and high beams on this Hummer. Like I said, this is just an LED daytime running light. And then the ends double as your LED turn signals right there. Moving further into the center of the EV, you'll have two giant tow hooks right here. You'll have parking sensors that dot the front, and then you'll have a GMC badge in the lower portion of this front fascia, because as I mentioned up top, this is branded as a GMC. General Motors decided not to revive Hummer as its own brand. They've just uh, put it into the GMC brand, and I think that fits. GMC is known for their trucks and SUVs, so I think as they've revived this, that slots in nicely into the GMC lineup. Let's talk frunk in the Hummer EV. Now, since this is an electric vehicle, there is of course no internal combustion engine underneath the hood, which frees up a lot of space for storage. If we go to the key here, right next to your panic button, you can see there's a button that if we tap that, that is going to open up our frunk area. And you can see, like I said, a good deal of storage in here, and there's some nice little touches as well. You'll get cargo tie-downs. Then HEV is embossed into the plastic. You'll get a little LED light and the federally mandated, help, I'm a child being kidnapped button that you can press if you're ever being kidnapped. And you get a little 12 volt outlet right there as well. I guess I can't say moving underneath the hood anymore when talking about the specs of an electric vehicle. I suppose I'll have to find something else to say. In the meantime though, this GMC Hummer EV is powered by three electric motors, which give this 1,000 horsepower and an insane 11,500 pound-feet of torque, and it has 329 miles of estimated range. Moving to the profile of the Hummer EV, starting here with the wheels and tires, you're going to get 30570R tires around these 18 inch wheels. I am a sucker for the silver black combo on any truck wheel and I think it looks excellent here. Then you'll have your HEV badge right there, Hummer is engraved into the larger H. And then one of the reasons it took so long for me to be able to review this particular EV is these running boards came in separately from Hummer and it looks kind of dorky without the running boards on. They're kind of built into the body of the vehicle. And finally, this dealership picked them up and they're like, yes, you can come over. We got the running boards for this particular Hummer. But I think that's interesting because normally that's not something that is built in but this is such a large vehicle, they've kind of incorporated it into the side. And then moving up here, you'll have a camera. That's one of the many on this. A puddle light down here, and then these mirrors are massive, and they have a lot of features. They have blind spot monitoring, they're heated, 
their power. They're also power folding. So very expensive if you were to knock one off. Um, so don't do that. <laughs> then if we move to the door handle right here, there is keyless entry. So if you have the key in your pocket, you can lock the vehicle. And if uh, you have it in your pocket, you can then unlock it. So uh, you don't have to fiddle around for that. And one of the neat things is that that keyless entry is on all the doors. That's not a super common thing, but here on the Hummer EV, you get that. And as we move to the rear, I'm getting uh, heavy Chevy Avalanche vibes from this. Uh, the EV Hummer has a bed slightly larger than um, the Hummer SUT, I think is what it was called, the H2 SUT, which was the first uh, truck version of the Hummer. And then eventually they had the H3T, which was the uh, more trucky bed version of the Hummer, though that wasn't unibody like this is, since this is built on the SUV platform. Coming back here, boy, oh boy, there is a ton to talk about. So let's start down here where you'll have parking sensors. Uh, again, pretty expected feature here. Then you'll have your tow hitch, pretty good towing capacity. And then if we move up here, you'll have your backup camera kind of just thrown in to the rear tailgate, GMC badge again, and then Hummer EV. And since this is a GMC, it gets General Motors Multi-Pro tailgate, which means if we hit this button, the tailgate comes down traditionally, but you also have the ability to lift this up for kind of a bed extender. And if you don't wanna do that, and maybe you just want a little workbench area, you can tap that, and that will bring this portion of the tailgate down. Um, so you can kind of work on this if you'd like, maybe throw a laptop up here, some power tools, and you can still pull this up to additionally work as a bed extender. It's very useful. And then um, the kind of third and final option is if we hit both these buttons, that opens up and that gives you a step inside the bed of the Hummer EV, which is really useful. But while we're down here, I wanna talk about this. This also has the kicker audio system built into the tailgate. So um, there's aux and USB here, so you can hook up a phone. There's also Bluetooth, of course, um, and you can play music out of the bed of your Hummer. If you're doing a tailgate party, really useful. I mean, this is really, I guess, the ultimate tailgate truck because it has so many tailgate features. But one more thing that I wanna address before we fully move into the bed here is that this also has a power uh, tonneau cover. So if you hit this button, um, yep, it's gonna open up the uh, tonneau right here. That's super cool, very useful, and we'll drop this again. And that, of course, is uh, powered the same way as well. All you have to do is um, hit the other button and it will close automatically, very useful. And then in the bed here, you can see there's an H uh, kind of embossed into the spray in here. And then you'll see you'll have an AC 120 volt uh, power outlet, some LED lighting in here. And um, I suppose I should have uh, left this down. If we bring this back down, let's say you're getting up and you still need to step into the bed, make it a little easier, what you can do is you can grab right here and there is a handle that extends out, making it really easy for you to step up into the bed of the Hummer EV. Um, super useful, really like that that's included in there. Very simple. Um, it doesn't fold into the tailgate like Ford's does, but who needs that? That's, that's cool and useful as is. And the final thing I wanted to mention here in the bed is you'll have two more cameras up here in between uh, the three individual uh, third brake lights right here. One of these, I don't know which one is which. One of them is a bed camera, and one of them is the camera for the rear view mirror. We'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about both of them actually when we move to the interior, um, but there's two more of those cameras. Before we move to the interior, I forgot to mention there is more buttons on the key fob than just panic and opening the front trunk. You can also drop the tailgate from the key fob. You can remote start the vehicle and of course lock and unlock. And then it says Hummer EV GMC on the key fob. Moving to the interior of the Hummer EV, it is a mix of utilitarian boxiness and luxury, but I really like it and I think you will too. Starting here with the door panel, you get this nice soft touch material you can rest your arm on. It says Hummer EV right there, and it's also a soft touch 
rubbery material up here as well. Hummer knows their market. They know people will want to rest their arms here. You get a driver's side grab handle, which is awesome. And then over here, you'll have your lock, unlock, your memory settings for your power seat controls, uh, your window buttons, and your mirror controls, including the button to power fold those mirrors. That's always nice to see, especially on a vehicle this big. Then you'll get uh, electronic parking brake, button for your front trunk opening, rear tailgate drop, lane keeping assist, all four windows down, which is nice, your bed light and your power uh, bed charger, that AC 120 volt outlet back there. This is the brightness for your display up here. And then you will have a power adjusting steering wheel as well on here. Moving up to the steering wheel, you'll have your cruise control buttons right there uh, and your volume, uh, Actually, your volume and channel changing is on the back here. Uh, these are buttons to control your screen. My mistake, right there. You can uh, go into your fully digital gauge cluster and mess with a couple of different things in there. Uh, it's pretty customizable, which is nice to see. And then the other buttons here are your Bluetooth ones. Uh, right here, you'll have uh, your camera sensor for General Motors. Uh, automatic driving system. There's also uh, like a sensor right here. And then if we move over here, you'll have your push button start, trailer brake assist down here, your massive touchscreen right here. Very quick. I think General Motors uh, infotainment systems are really snappy, really quick. Obviously that took a little bit. The one button I clicked takes a little bit, but generally it's very quick to get into the different uh, settings and different modes that are in this vehicle. And it's crazy. Uh, the amount of off-road functionality that is here um, and then normal functionality there's actually a dial for the volume which is nice um, they didn't have to include that but they did and then you'll have a row of buttons here for your climate controls and then you'll have a uh, heated steering wheel rear locker front and rear locker hazards traction control off rear parking sensors and rear parking assist here and then some climate vents but staying in this area i want to talk about the cameras. So if we throw this into reverse, you'll see you get your top down view. That's pretty traditional on most vehicles nowadays. You'll get your rear, but here is the um, different views that you can look at. You can look at just the front, just the sides. You can look at just a tow hitch camera. Um, you can look just at very many different angles. If you want to look at the bottom, here's your bottom camera, that aforementioned one underneath. And also you can hit it with water. So if there is uh, mud or dirt on it, uh, you can hit that with water and it will wash it off. That is so cute. I'm gonna say it's cute. I mean, it's what a neat little feature that it has a little sprayer, uh, like the old Volvo headlights or something like that. It's just so cool that they've included that. You can go, uh, you can split the difference. You can have kind of the front camera view and underneath if you're doing rock crawling, that's really useful. If we put this back into park, uh, and we switch between our drive modes. Our drive mode selector is down here. This also gives us kind of a cool screen. So this is going to pop up. And this is like, I don't know, like the Death Star. Like maybe your Hummer's driving through the Death Star. And then if we twist this again, uh, this is Mars. And then you can go to the moon. Or maybe this is Mustafar from Star Wars or, or Mordor from Lord of the Rings. I'm not 100% sure where the Hummer's driving, but it can go there. And it's towing a uh, spaceship right here on this drive mode selector. There's just really a lot of different cool uh, graphics here. Normally you'll get maybe a little splash of mud or something, but here you get a fully digital display of it kind of breaking through a shield type thing. I think that's neat when you switch uh, your different drive modes and then it's on the moon here for normal. Um, that's really neat. And then if we go down here, I, I simply must talk about some of these cool features. A, uh, it has uh, raising and lowering air suspension, so you can hit these buttons and it will raise itself up. You hit this and it will lower itself down. And then right here, this is funny, you hit this button and the only thing that happens is it says, if, if we hit it again here, your mode, your mission, epic ideas at gmc.com. So if you have an idea to pitch to GMC uh, about the future of this vehicle that you think would be a cool add-on, you can actually email GMC. I have never seen a button like that in any vehicle. Just like a feedback, like, hey, just let us know what we could do better. It'd be really nice to have that in uh, certain Jeep products. <laughs> All right, little dig at Jeep, uh, but we're moving on. And so 
Um, the last button on this uh, dial right here that we haven't touched is the crab walk mode. Now this was pretty highly publicized, but I still want to talk about it because it is a very unique mode. So this uh, Hummer has four wheel steering, which is something General Motors has toyed around with since I think the early 2000s. There was maybe a GMC Sierra or a Chevy Silverado that had this four wheel steering uh, and it wasn't on every one, it was like an option. And so basically the rear wheels would turn in as the outer wheels would turn out. But also they have uh, this crab, crab walk feature. You can even see kind of uh, what it is down here on the button. The wheels are all gonna turn at the same time. So if I'm turning my front wheels this way, the rear wheels are also gonna go this way. Don't worry, I'm not just gonna explain it with my hand, I will show you. <laughs> I will show you what it actually looks like on the Hummer. Um, but I think turning it on is really funny. So to activate crab walk mode, we're gonna hit this button and hold it down and it gives us kind of like a little show as it loads the crab walk mode. You have to hold the button down and then you can see you'll get a little crab icon down there and it says crab walk and then um, you are ready to go. So I'll show you what that looks like. It is weird, it feels weird. You're like gliding down the road. Uh, this is the best footage I could get of it. Um, it's really fun, but it's it's quite quirky. I've never done anything like this before, um, but I can see how this would help you get out of tough spots off-road. Coming back to the uh, interior here, you'll have a wireless charger with USB and USB-C, two cup holders right here. Um, the only chintzy part of this interior is right here. This kind of feels flimsy. Now, I know it opens, um, but the plastic feels kind of cheap on this. Everything else in the interior feels really durable and reliable. Steering wheel's nice. And I mentioned uh, a couple weeks ago in my GMC Canyon review that the door handle on that felt really cheap and shaky. I can thankfully report right here, this grab handle is super firm, super sturdy on the Hummer EV. Um, and it feels tough, but the only part uh, that feels kind of chintzy is right over here um, in this kind of center plastic area, which is a little disappointing, especially for the price point, but um, that's really the only place that I could find on here that I was like, oh, this isn't maybe the best quality. Uh, this is very soft uh, and nice right here to rest your arm, and then you can open this up, and there is a 12 volt in there and a little storage cubby you can take out. If we move up here, you'll have your mirror, which is a pretty traditional looking mirror then that flips into our camera. As I mentioned before, there is a bed camera um, that you can pull up to see if there's stuff in your bed. Um, here, let me show you that on the camera. There is that on the, on the screen, rather. And then right above that, there is a button here because the rear window goes down like the Toyota Tundra. I think that's so cool. Glad to see another vehicle finally incorporating it. And I guess that proves that Toyota doesn't have a copyright on that. So I don't know why more vehicles don't do that. Um, then the last big thing I wanted to touch on up front here on the Hummer EV is very similar to a Jeep. Um, you can take off these roof panels. I'm not gonna do that fully from in here, but you can unlock that these and uh, fully take this off. You can take all four off and have an open air experience in the Hummer EV. These fit in that front trunk area or you could put them in the uh, rear as well. Uh, and there is no full covering. They are glass all of the time. There's no uh, pull tabs or anything like that, but they are tinted quite a bit. Um, so it's not a super big bother to have these uh, to have these pieces of glass right here. And of course, it lets a lot more light into the cab, but so nice in here. I mean, the interior is so premium feeling. I guess uh, a few more little things. So I guess that wasn't the last thing I wanted to touch upon. You'll have in addition one uh, badge right here on your dashboard on the passenger side, your glove box down here. And then look at this speaker. Both these speakers on the uh, front doors and perhaps the rear doors as well have these cool like geographical layouts, um, which are so neat. I mean, it, it just adds to the cool factor of this. And it says Hummer EV in the seat, which of course is very, very comfortable uh, power. Obviously, we saw earlier the power memory seats. So they are power back, forward, up, down, and lumbar, which is nice. I don't know if I will ever be able to convey the commanding view of this thing um, unless you sit in it in person. It is so wild how 
massive this is. And this truly does feel like a king of the road truck, um, which Hummers always did. Hummers always felt like the king of the road, but this does especially. I mean, what a huge commanding view. Um, still get some pretty big blind spots back there. Classic Hummer. Um, but I think overall, just GMC knocked it out of the park. General Motors really, really has excelled with this. Moving to the rear seats of the Hummer EV, as I suspected, this rear speaker uh, on both sides, of course, has this cool design on it as well. GM did not skimp on these rear doors, which is always nice. They have a tendency, I shouldn't just say GM, a lot of manufacturers have a tendency to make the back doors just cheap plastic because they anticipate people will not be sitting back here very often, but not here. This is just as comfortable as it, as it is up front, and I really like to see that. You're gonna have a handle right here and using these steps to get inside because it is a big leap. We are now in the rear seats of the Hummer EV, and I have probably five or six inches of legroom and a good four or five inches of headroom as well. I would expect nothing less. This is a gigantic SUV. And then if we move down here, you'll have climate controls, climate vents, heated seats, USB and USB-C. And then if we come up here, you will have even more storage options. This is something General Motors has in a lot of their trucks behind the seat storage, which is very useful. Then you'll have a fold down armrest, two cup holders and a spot for a Fiji water. And then this also has the ability to open up as well. And if we move over here, I'll just show you with the larger portion, there is a little bit of storage down here. Um, not a ton, but you know, uh, you could store a few things. Um, but the other cool thing is you can just drop that right back down. You don't need to pull a lever or anything. Very convenient, very useful. Uh, but overall, super nice in here. The interior is very premium. I mean, look at how many cool features this thing has. Let's take it out for a spin. All right, driving the Hummer EV, this mammoth of an SUV. Uh, you really do feel like king of the road in this. And uh, I have the, you know, the seat high adjusted up. I can see out the sunroof. I have a lot of visibility here. If you've been paying attention to press stuff, zero to 60 on this is 3.3 seconds. Uh, and so I wanna be very careful here. Oh my word, yep, it'll throw you back. It'll throw you back. <laughs> I'm gonna be careful driving this with other vehicles around, especially with how heavy this is, but it really whips you up. When we get on the highway, if we have a, a little clear, clear way, I'll hit that again to see how it goes. But man, this is so much fun to drive. I have a big dumb grin on my face because who would have thought that Hummer would come back as an electric company? The, the least fuel efficient vehicles, well, at least they took all the flack for being the least fuel efficient vehicles. But here they are as an electric vehicle brand. And I don't think they're maybe the most fuel efficient electric vehicle brand, but, <laughs> but uh, it's so cool to have it. So here we are accelerating in the Hummer. Three, two, one. Oh my word. Oh, <laughs> the front end's lifting up on this thing. Whoa. Up oh, it fell. My camera fell. That's how excited it was. Uh, getting back on the road after my camera fell. <laughs> um, wow, incredible acceleration in this. I've driven a couple of F-150 Lightnings and those do not accelerate like this does. This thing flies. It's really fun, but uh, definitely very dangerous with how big it is. But it makes merging onto highways more fun than it ever has been before. Like this Camry behind me, can't touch me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly past this Camry to merge onto the highway. <laughs> Uh, wow, so much fun. Uh, now this does have a uh, one pedal uh, driving and regenerative braking as well. Something I'm not necessarily a fan of because I'm not super familiar with it, but uh, I'm sure the more that I would use it, the more I would get used to that. Right here, this button is for your regenerative braking right there. One complaint I have about driving it, it sounds like these roof panels are a little squeaky. I don't know if that's because it's just been sitting for a while or maybe they're not latched in properly, but I am getting a little squeak from that, which I imagine could be annoying over time. But other than that, the build quality in this, like I mentioned before, is really good. And uh, I'm impressed with everything that this has to offer uh, in the Hummer EV. 
Well, that is just about going to conclude my review of this Hummer EV. But before I go, I'd like to mention that I am a Christian. And if you have any prayer requests, I would love to be able to pray for you guys. You can leave those in the comment section below. And lastly, I'd like to close out on a weekly scriptural reading. Today, I'm going to be reading from Proverbs 7, verse 4. Love wisdom like a sister. Make insight a beloved member of your family. And if you don't have a sister, love wisdom like somebody in your family that you love. A brother, maybe a very close cousin. <laughs> anyway, take care, guys. I'll see you next time.